Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Lisa, Servant of Christ. In early August 2023, a series of wildfires broke out in the U.S. state of Hawaii, predominantly on the island of Maui. The wind-driven fires prompted evacuations. About 115 people died in this wildfire, and about 385 other people were missing. Now, it is said that the wildfire was attributed due to dry, gusty conditions created by a strong high-pressure area north of Hawaii and Hurricane Dora to the south. As you can see here, the fire destroyed all the buildings around here, all cars. It melted the cars. Just imagine how hot that fire was, that it melted the vehicles. That fire was pretty wild and you've seen the damage it has done. I'm pretty sure you've seen this all over the internet. But one thing it did not destroy is this Catholic church. Thousands of structures around it were destroyed except for this church. The church, built in 1846, still remains standing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, is a true miracle from God. And let me tell you something else. That is not the only church that was standing. This is another church that was untouched by the flames. Look at this. Not one thing was touched by the flames of this other church. You better believe that God's protection was over this church. The windows are spotless. There are no smokes on them. And you have to see the inside. Every Bible is intact. Nothing, not one thing was destroyed by the fire. And look what was happening all around the churches. Everything else was getting destroyed except those churches. Wake up people, it's time for you to wake up, stop sleeping. The disasters that you're seeing that's happening around you is not of climate change. It is signs of Jesus' return. Now the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 2 to 3 says, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Nothing is going to get better from this point on. Everything is going to become worse, people. So it's time to wake up. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 15 says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living, when the Lord returns, will not meet up ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves. Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Nothing is more important than your soul. Your soul lives on forever and ever and ever. It never dies. So stop chasing after worldly things and chase after godly things. A lot of you out there call yourself a Christian. You wear a cross around your neck. But are you representing that cross? No, you are still willingly living in sin. You're having sex with people who you're not married to. You're lying, you're stealing, you're cheating, you're committing adultery. God do not tolerate one ounce of lawlessness. So give your life to Christ today as there's still time. And thank you for watching this video. Be blessed in Jesus name.